scrum values scrum values are the lifeblood of the scrum framework basically there are five scrum values uh, which are respect openness courage commitment and focus uh, and they they basically they are the life the essence of entire some framework scrum framework they are the uh, spirit of it which brings agility in uh, in scrum which uh, these are the values which actually connect the agile principles and values to scrum let's go through these values one by one commitment the scrum team is mainly they are committed to achieving uh, their goals which is uh, for example the sprint goal the the, the product goal and the daily goal uh, uh, which is basically the plan for for the day and they support each other in uh, uh, in achieving these these goals and that's the key idea of the uh, commitment value uh, the scrum team is uh, practices openness and openness is about basically uh, the scrum team and its stakeholders are open about the work and the challenges they are facing what do you we mean by that is basically uh, whatever work uh, that scrum team members are doing they are uh, they are open to showcase that that work to uh, the wider stakeholders and whatever challenges each of the scrum team member is facing they also share those challenges uh, with the scrum team and with wider organization uh, the reason for that is most of the time uh, when we are using the scrum framework it is used for building complex products and when you are building complex product there will always be challenges you are because more many times you are building something which uh, most likely your organization hasn't worked you don't have much experience in building that and you will definitely encounter some one or another kind of challenge and if you don't open only share these challenges with uh, your team members uh, then you know they will not be able to help you in uh, uh, in solving those those problems and this is the key reason that the scrum team should practice openness the next one is courage so courage the scrum team members have the courage to do the right thing to work on tough problems so what does that mean is basically uh, let's say a scrum team member is is uh, uh, you know he uh, let's say multiple scrum team members have different point of views right and uh, uh, in that scenario uh, uh, this the person who is doing the work uh, that should have the courage to do the right thing uh, even if other people have different point of view obviously they should he should not do the work uh, uh, like he should not create the conflict but he should continue to convince other that you know uh, this is the right thing to do and continue to work on that <laughs> sorry respect the scrum team members respect each other uh, to uh, to be capable independent and are respected as such by the people with whom they work uh so this the meaning of this is that uh all the people within the scrum team should uh respect uh each other in in a way that you know like each of these uh, scrum team members are expert in their own area right and uh, let's say i am one of the scrum team member and let's say i am i am expert in sql so my other team members should respect me that in in terms of that i am capable of independently doing my sql related work right if they don't uh, respect me in terms of my capability and independence then uh, you know i will not be able to uh, you know successfully deliver my work then the next one is focus their primary focus is to work on the sprint to make the best pro possible uh, progress towards these goal so uh, the uh the key idea here is uh basically all the team members should be focused towards the sprint goal itself because if they are not focused on the sprint goal they end up putting their efforts in so many many things which might not add much 
value to the product or to the sprint goal so that's why all the team member first should know clearly what is the sprint goal and then they should continue to focus on the sprint goal uh, that's that's the idea of uh, 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 the focus uh, uh, value let's move on to the next slide so uh, there are some additional in, uh, information which is uh, important related to these five scrum value the first uh, point is value gives direction for uh, work action and behavior so basically the the the, the scrum values they give uh, directions to the scrum team on uh, basically how to proceed on a on a particular piece of work how to carry on a uh, action and uh, and whatever ways of working they are uh, using how or the way they are behaving all those things are guided by the scrum values the next one is basically uh, values reinforce decision making steps taken and ways of working so the scrum values basically they reinforce the decisions which are made by the wider organization the product owner the scrum team or scrum master uh, and also the various steps which oh, various team members are uh, are taking or the ways these team members are are working with each other or with the wider organization all that is reinforced by these values or all this work is done in light of the scrum scrum values and all these uh, uh, basically the decision steps taken and ways of working should reinforce uh, the scrum values rather than diminishing the scrum value or undermine them so whatever uh, key decision we are making if they undermine uh, uh, the the scrum value we might have to revisit the scrum value and think that are we going in the right decision or are we taking the right steps or are we working uh, in uh, in uh, in right way next one is learn and explore values while working with uh, scrum events and artifact basically the scrum team uh, keeps learning and exploring the scrum values while they are uh, working on these scrum events and uh, artifacts and their understanding of scrum value keeps becoming more and more mature as they work on scrum events and artifacts and uh, it helps them in improvising uh, the work they are doing it helps them in uh, in improvising the way they are conducting uh, the scrum events or the, these values also help them in improving the artifacts they are working on then uh, the embodiment of these uh, scrum values uh, uh, in the ways of working uh, by the scrum team it brings the scrum uh, pillars of transparency uh, uh, inspection and uh, adaptation to life more and more you practice these uh, scrum values uh, more and more the scrum pillars of transparency inspection and adaptation will come to life and they will help uh, in building the trust within the team and in the wider organization so that this is about